Um, crypto wise, it, I mean, you're seeing Bitcoin get slammed today. Uh, that's a nasty fall on, on Bitcoin. Now, interestingly enough, it came after six up days in a row. So six up days, you could argue that you were due for a pullback. The question is, is it just a pullback to support right here? This is where you should have support right around 20,400. If it holds that, maybe it gets another up move. I'm still in the camp though, that when all is said and done six, 12 months from now, we're going to have seen crypto and Bitcoin go down quite a bit more before all is done. We got to get through this merge, assuming the merge goes smoothly, everything goes smoothly. I think that's going to be a positive for crypto. For me, it's, it's, if you're a swing trader, I think there's opportunities off key support lines, but you still have to be careful. I still think that you, you know, the crypto market's down about what 70% off of its highs for Bitcoin in every past cycle, you've done 80 to 85% drops that's right. and that's with the fed printing money. Here the yeah. Fed's doing the opposite. They're unprinting. Wow. They're sucking money out of the system. So why wouldn't we do 85 at minimum in this cycle, which puts us down, I mean, at minimum to 12,000, 13,000. And so remember, people said, don't fight the Fed when the markets were going up, which was the right move. Well, now they're doing the opposite. So wouldn't not fighting the Fed be very cautious on risk assets here? I, you know, my worst case scenario, and again, 12 to 13,000 is kind of my gravy zone that's my high-end target but mm -hmm. I, I could see 3500 that would be a 95 percent oh decline and that would basically align us with what amazon did in the dot-com bubble collapse so again think of the behemoth amazon by the way think of how awesome it did if you bought it even at the highs of the dot-com bubble you made a fortune in amazon i still think that's the way it's going to be for crypto so if you're in at 69,000, it sucks right now but i do think you'll end up making money for those of us that have some dry powder you have to think that when it gets to those lows, everyone is going to be freaking out. That's when you want to deploy some capital, obviously capital that you can risk. Timing is everything. Is that right? That is everything to do with the stock market and the crypto market. And I'll tell you one thing. Markets have a funny way of forcing people's hands. And yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if crypto goes low enough where it causes Michael Saylor to kind of exit like like short, like basically it, it, a margin call or whatever it is. Right. And that could be the culmination of, of the bottom on Bitcoin. And again, I've been, you know, you and I have been traders, right? Doesn't the market just push you to your limits? Yes. And he's like the stereotypical, like head, I mean, head honcho honey, for crypto. Honey it would make yep. so much sense to push him to the limit. And then that would be the bottom. The buy the rumor, sell the news, the sell the news event it kind of got kicked off with the Federal Reserve, not the Federal Reserve, but the CPI numbers, right? Yeah. That sell yeah, the news yeah. event happened prior to the actual event. Do you see us heading lower is what I'm asking with Ethereum, seeing that we've already seen a nice little drop in it now? Yeah, so I mean, I'm still thinking that there's, I mean, again, depending on what the dollar does and what risk assets do, but if things calm down and maybe the Fed isn't as hawk, I mean, this is the kicker, right? Is that next week with the Federal Reserve, everyone's gonna expect the most hawkish commentary that we've ever seen from the Fed. It's possible that he might just be slightly less hawkish than the markets are fearing. In which case, you could get one more push up in cryptocurrency, in, in risk assets off of that. In fact, that's if we were to sell off going into that meeting and continue to sell off sharply, I would start accumulating some longs, maybe crypto longs as well as stocks, going into that thinking that, okay, the markets are pricing in this ridiculously hawkish Fed. If he's ridiculously hawkish, we've already priced it in, right? But if he's just ever so slightly less, maybe the markets get a bounce there. So I'm gonna be watching really closely. I think Ethereum, again, if you get the merge to go smoothly, you might get a little bit of relief. I think it's short-lived, but I do think, again, you might get a little bit of relief back up. Maybe the 200 MA is one thing I'm looking, I mean, this would be a best case scenario to touch that 200 MA. It's also kind of a double top, but again, it's, it's tricky now that the CPI number did what it did. This here, this range right here, Gareth, looks like a nice head and shoulders. Yeah, we got all the way up to what's that almost three trillion dollar market cap. We're just above a trillion right now. Do you take a look at the market cap at all as some type of macro indication with cryptos? Yeah, so I think that's definitely a chart you want to pay attention to, because just like the individual charts of the cryptocurrencies, it does tell a story. So it tells you about how much money was chasing at the highs. The head and shoulders, like you said, is absolutely crystal clear there. And interestingly enough, one interesting comparison, at the height of the dot-com era, guess what the market cap was of all the dot-com stocks, right around $3 trillion. Oh so a weird parity there crazy. as well, the cryptocurrency top, 
which was right around three trillion as well. And now we're kind of living through that that dot com blow up of the crypto market. I mean, the inflation we're seeing is in spite of a 15 percent strengthening of the U.S. dollar since <laughs> oh, wow. the start of the year. So imagine if the dollar was flat or negative on the year. Oh. Um, that's the one saving grace, I think, that that at least if you go to another country, like you can go to Europe right now or or oh. Japan and your dollar goes really far in terms of taking a nice vacation. Um, but needless to say, it, it is the dollar. The, and by the way, it's very rare for the dollar to go up and the bond market to drop, meaning yields going up at the same time. That is super, super rare. Not a good scenario at all. That's kind of mm. like the death march, if you will, for the overall economy. So it's something that, again, people are going into the dollar because of safety. They're very concerned about geopolitical things, uh, Russia, mm. Ukraine, China, Taiwan. Then you throw in potential global recession. That's making people buy the dollar. Then the Fed is tightening, which is sucking dollars out of the system. That's that's strengthening the dollar as well. So all of these factors are kind of coming together to create what I would worry would be that black swan event where you could get some major breakage in the system. If you get a major breakage, what's the Fed going to do with right. 8% inflation? Can they print us out of that? I mean, it's nuts right now. What do you see us going to now? Have you raised your target as far as the final interest rate hike or give us your insight on that your thought on yeah, that. so i mean i was in the camp of 50 and then an additional 25 into year end i think you have to think 75 now this is the 10-year yield chart 10-year yield is nearing that 3.5 double top so again i don't know if we'll double top and pull back here uh which would indicate that markets start to think the fed may do the 75 and then kind of sit on the sidelines but it certainly is something i'm watching but I would say, again, what I hope the Fed does is if they're going to do 75, I hope that they sit on the sidelines for a couple months for the sake of the economy, for the sake of everyone else. I do think inflation will come down. It's just kind of lagging at this stage. And so I just hope that they don't overdo it too much, push us into a dramatic recession. Then you see unemployment go sky high, 8%, 10%. And I do worry that that could be what the path they're on. So going into year end, I mean, I hope that they only do another 25 after this next one.